In this example, we want to find the function f given that the second derivative of that function is equal to x cubed plus the hyperbolic sine of x and we get, we're also given two initial values. f of 0 equals to 1 and f of 2 is equal to 2.6. Okay, so the way we're going to do this is that uh, since we're given the second derivative, second order uh, derivative, then we need to first take the uh, find the, the integral, and that will give us f prime of x, the first derivative, and then take the integral again, and that will give us the general function, okay? The, in other words, we'll get the general solution. And then we need to uh, use our initial values to f find the constants, okay? And that will give us our particular solution. Okay, so Let's go ahead and take the integral of f double prime of x. Okay, so the integral of f double prime of x. So we're taking the integral with respect to x of, the, okay, so we're gonna have the integral of x cubed plus hyperbolic sine of x. Okay, so this is going to give us f prime of x, and that's going to equal, all right, we're going to take the integral of x cubed, that's going to give us 1 fourth x to the power 4, plus the integral of hyperbolic sine is hyperbolic cosine. And we're going to go ahead and add on a constant, so I'm going to call this c1, okay? So now to get f of x, we need to take the integral of this expression here, okay? Okay, so the integral of f prime of x. Okay, so we're going to have the integral of 1 fourth x to the fourth plus hyperbolic cosine of x plus c1. Okay. So the integral of f prime of x is f of x. Okay, we take the integral of 1 fourth x to the 4. Okay, that's going to give us 1 fourth times x to the 5th over 5. So we have 1 over 20 x to the 5th power. Okay, the integral of hyperbolic cosine is hyperbolic cosine. I'm oh, sorry, hyperbolic sine plus c1 of x, c1 times x, because we take the integral of a constant, so that's going to give us a constant times x, okay, plus we're going to add on another constant, okay. All right, so that is our, um, that is our general solution. So now we need to use our initial values, okay, to solve for c1 and c2. So we're going to use f of 0 equals to 1 and f of 2 equals to 2.6 to solve for c1 and c2. Okay. So if we look at uh, if we look at f of 0 equals to 1 when we evaluate when we evaluate our general function at zero, okay, we're going to get the value for uh, c two. Okay, right, it's because we have f of zero. We substitute zero in for x. We're going to get c two, and f of zero is equal to one. So therefore, c two equals to one. Okay. So now uh, we can use f of 2 equals to 2.6. Okay, we can use the second initial value to solve for c1. Okay, so we're going to have f of 2 equals to 1 over 20 times 2 to the fifth plus hyperbolic sine of 2 plus. Uh, 2 times 
C1 plus C2. Okay, so F of 2 is equal to 2.6 and C2 is equal to 1. So we have okay, 1 over 20 times 2 to the 5th plus hyperbolic sine of 2 plus 2 times C1 plus, again, C2 is 1. And F of 2, right, F of 2 is equal to 2.6. Okay. Okay, so now, 2 to the 5th over 20. Okay. So that's going to give us 32 over 20. Okay, which is going to reduce to 8 fifths. So we have 8 fifths plus hyperbolic sine of 2. Plus 2 times C1 plus 1 equals to 2.6. Okay, so 8 fifths plus 1, okay, uh, that is, right, that's going to, give us the value of, um, so that's going to give us the uh, value of 2.6, okay? So basically that's 13 fifths, okay? Plus the hyperbolic sine of 2, plus 2 times C1, and 2 six, that's the same as 13 fifths. Okay, so that gives us the equation of uh, that gives us 2 times C1 plus hyperbolic sine of 2 equals to 0. So that means C1 is going to be equal to minus 1 half of the, cyber, uh, the hyperbolic sine of 2. Okay. All right, so we have C2 equals to 1, and C1 is equal to minus 1 half times the sine of the hyperbolic sine of 2. Okay. So therefore, okay, our function is, okay, we have 1 over 20, so 1 20th x times x to the power 5 plus Let's see, we have, here we need x here, so hyperbolic sine of x. Okay, minus, uh, so this is a, okay, that's plus c1x, so we're going to have a minus 1 half times hyperbolic sine of 2 times x, okay plus C2, C2 was 1. Okay. So this is our particular solution, okay? All right. Okay, so down here is the graph of that function, okay? And you can see that it's going through the two initial values, the initial value of 0 0.1, and the initial value of two point two comma two point six.